What's up you guys, it's uh, Vintage here. Uh, today we've got one piece of mail we're gonna open up uh, and also we have uh, some cards that we are going to reveal. Uh, received uh, my first PSA uh, return and I uh, wanted to share them with you guys. Uh, the tone isn't exactly super excited so you guys can kind of guess maybe we didn't get the best grades here but um, we'll go over those and I'll kind of tell you the history of them. But. Real quick, I did want to open up this package here. Um, this was a, I guess, box break, I guess is what you want to call it. Not an English set, uh, Japanese. Um, been joining a couple of Japanese uh, unboxings and stuff like that because uh, some of those cards look pretty cool. And this was a unique one. So I wanted to kind of get in on it. Shout out to uh, Luis uh, on uh, the Facebook group uh, for allowing me to enter your, your not giveaway, your, um, your opening. So guys, these are Japanese uh, vending series cards. And if you guys have not seen them, they're quite unique. Man, Luis protected the heck out of these, dude. Love it. Um, so let me share with you first off some of the cards. Uh, man, I really did a really good job. There's an Eevee. Uh, Porygon. Another Eevee. I did get like three or four Eevees out of here. They were uh, calling me the Eevee King. And dude, there's my card right there. I entered this to get this card. A little history, you guys. I know most of you guys are now like, what the F is that card? They, they didn't spend too much time on drawing that or whatever. So the history with this, I guess there are certain cards in here that the art was submitted, uh, you know, a kid drew it. and. They entered and they submitted that artwork and that artwork got used on the card. So, you know, thinking about that, you guys, that's pretty special and it makes me want this card even more. So shout out to whoever made this or whoever drew this card. It's beautiful in its own way. I'll take it. It is going to go get graded through PSA. Uh, Dodrio. And then um, a couple more. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and show you guys all of them. There's that other Eevee. Just gonna go real quick through these. I mean, dude, artwork is really, really cool. The other hits in this set, um, there is a, you know, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. Uh, there is a Mewtwo that looked badass, which I did not get. Um, that's a really nice one. Uh, there's a nice Charmander in there. There's a Pikachu. Did not get any of the starters or the Pikachu or the Mewtwo. I was kind of bummed and I'm gonna show you guys how these cards actually get revealed, and that's kind of what makes it pretty special and unique. See, uh, guys, the artwork, guys, it's just freaking awesome. Kakuna. So, oh man, actually I got more. There's two in here, but I just wanted to give you guys a little preview of those. And freaking Strissy, shout out to uh, Luis. You really took care of me on these. Uh, allowed me to experience the opening. He did the opening on most of these, you guys, but I, I told him, save the last couple for me. And you guys are probably thinking, what the heck are you talking about? Guys, look what you guys are looking for. This is what you guys are looking at right here. These are sheets, jumbo loaders, by the way. Sheets, three cards each. You're actually peeling the card. And it's super unique, right? I've never seen this. Some of you guys may have, but it's a pretty unique experience. I watched them do the uh, unpeeling and uh, I said, hey, save the last two. Let's see if we can get lucky. So I guess technically we've got six chances to get a Pikachu, the Mewtwo, the, one of the starters, you know, Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle, hopefully in one of these. Uh, there was a couple really other really nice cards in that set. So um, at the end of this session here, I'm gonna cut out. We're gonna go and open a, open this in today's video. So that'll come a little later. Now, <clears throat> let's get into why my tone is a little, a little sad. Uh, I did do my first PSA submission with going in knowing that I was not gonna get tens. You know, I got these cards basically from either collections um, or purchased them raw and I saw them. I'm like, you know what? These are definitely not tens. So I was not going in expecting tens. There was maybe a card or two I was expecting maybe had a chance for a nine and then eights and lower. Some of the cards I was just like, yeah, that's gonna get a low grade, but you'll see here in a second why. I mean. Yeah, you'll, you'll see, and I'll explain to you on the way down. So let's go ahead and start the reveal. We've got six, did my membership, so I got my six free. Uh, one second, I gotta clear this text message. So we'll start with the first one. This is the, this one kind of bummed me out the most. 
I won this card in a raffle. He said it was one of the best cards he's seen of this particular card. When I received it, I was like, man, this is practically flawless. I'm praying for something real good here. And when I saw the grade, I was just like, what? So I'm gonna need to get some professional people's, uh, or some experienced PSA submitters opinion, maybe a, a regrade. Do you guys do regrades? Is it worth doing it? But I seriously can't find a flaw in this card. So here's the first one, you guys. It is a Shining Mewtwo, and look at that score. Like, they gave a six for this guy. And I seriously want to challenge this card. So I'm gonna hit up my usual people and uh, see what they think. Whoa. And I'm um, sorry, low battery. Um, and I want to get their opinion. And is it worth it at six to try to resubmit and try to get a higher grade? I mean, were they gonna give me like a seven? But I really, really think this should be up there in a nine or an eight category. Is it worth doing it? So we'll see. And some of you guys, if you guys are experienced PSA submitters, let me know. But seriously, I look at this card in all sorts of different lighting. The only thing I see is maybe a small chip here in the middle, which I don't know if you guys can kind of see at all, but that's really it. So I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, that's the number one. Uh, card number two, let's see what we got. Okay, so the, this one, uh, I actually I'm pretty happy with uh, it's a shiny Gyarados non first edition uh, you know from uh, Neo Revelation I love this card and in the collection I got I got four of these two of them to me were grade worthy the third one I could probably grade it but it's gonna get a lower grade and the third and the fourth one he said he played there was a crease I sold it on eBay for about like 36 bucks which I'm good with because seriously, all of the stuff that I PSA graded and all the stuff I still have here was worth the, the amount that I paid for that collection. So anyways, I'm really happy with this one. Uh, I will be keeping this uh, as part of my collection. Slowly upgrade and maybe get a first edition version or a higher grade. But as one of my first uh, submissions, I'm happy with this one. All right, next card. Nope. You're not seeing W, guys. That is... Another one that I was telling you about that got graded and it got the same grade. It got an eight So I'm pretty happy with this one uh, I did submit thinking this could be like a I didn't think it was a nine I thought this was gonna be eight seven and I'm happy with the eight it uh, Came back uh, higher than I you know on the higher end that I was expecting uh, Okay, no this one. All right, so Dark Charizard hollow first edition I got a five <laughs> Um, when I submitted this, I knew for sure it was not perfect because if you guys see here on the top, look at the ch the whitening on the top. So definitely not perfect quality. A little bit on the bottom. So I was like, yeah, this is gonna be pretty low. And uh, when I saw the five, it just kind of smacks you in the face, like boom, you got a five. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll accept it. And then yeah, when I see the condition again, I'm like, you know. What? Whatever, all good. And some of you guys may think, why are you guys, why are you submitting that? I wanted to experience this with the best cards I had at the time. Cause seriously guys, when I came back in the hobby and like I said, you guys know, I've only been back for two months. So I did a mixture of opening up some packs, buying a collection and just building. And I'm, I've got a good foundation now, but I wanted to submit some cards and you guys have followed the channel. I've got a, you know, pack fresh Charizard in uh, that we opened up. That's already with PSA right now. I've got packs gonna be graded. So we're gonna start seeing the submissions come back in a better grade. It's just this first batch we knew for a fact that they were not perfect. And some of them in not good condition as you're gonna see with these two cards. In that collection that I was talking about earlier, also included some Charizard cards that he already told me were not in the greatest condition. But coming back to the hobby, I wanted a good deal on just some Charizards that were included in the collection. So we got them, and here's the first one. Uh, you know, I don't, I'll, we'll start off with the first one. <laughs> okay, there we go, you ready? Charizard, what's the grade? Very good, excellent, four. So this one here I knew was gonna be bad because when I got this one, there was like fading happening here, there's scratches all over there, there's whitening on the back. So I was like, should I even send this? But guys, like seriously, send your Charizards in. 
there's always the market for somebody. Someone's always looking for a one. Someone's always looking to fill in their like collection of one through 10 PSA. So there's always gonna be someone, or it could be you, you just wanna hold on to it. Was this like a sentimental card? And in this case it wasn't, it was just, I wanna get it graded for my first time. I got a four, whatever, I'm gonna hold on to it and keep it part of my collection. And since we're talking about collection, let's go to the next card. Bam, six. And this one, I was like, yeah, there's whitening on the back. And I told you guys, I was not expecting much from you. I'm not like, ooh, pack fresh. Let's get that nine or 10. Now it's, let's see what we get. And PSA grades harsh on these because, you know, this is like, you know, the flagship of our, of uh, Watsy, you know, the unlimited uh, set. So I got a six here. It's about right. I knew this was gonna be lo much lower and this one was right there. And some of the guys I talked to, they're like, yeah, that's gonna come back as a, uh, Whoa, I just noticed on the back of this, it's got some, uh, yeah, I see why this is a six. <coughs> but I will say I have high, much higher expectations for my uh, my pack fresh one. So um, that is my first submission. I'm, I'm genuinely fine with the way things worked out because that's what, uh, you know, expected going in. Don't go in with high expectations and you know, you'll be fine. Uh, I do have another submission. I've got a couple of those black triangle packs that I've got going, and I've got that pack fresh Charizard. Uh, right now they're having that special on there for uh, $8 uh, to submit, minimum 25. So I've already got probably roughly about 20, 25 cards that I'm willing to submit that I'm, I feel comfortable doing. So I'm probably gonna send those off pretty soon. And I think that was the 45 day turnaround. So you'll probably see that in like a month and a half or so. But that's today's video. Uh, actually, no, we're gonna cut off here. We're gonna conclude the video a little later tonight. We're gonna do the unpeeling of this. And guys, we're a couple days away from uh, from uh, Hidden Fates. The hype is real, you guys. It's gonna be wild. If you can get a, your hands on them, go get whatever you can of that set. It's gonna be an amazing set, a lot of hype with it. They're gonna start falling off the shelves. They may be off the shelves for a little bit. Go get it. All right, guys, let's cut to the uh, unpeeling. Oh. All right, you guys, we're back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, these two here, and uh, hopefully we can pull something real good. Oh, man, I've never opened each. Never, oh, I was gonna say never opened these, but also never seen a sleeve this big. I guess I've never worked with uh, jumbo cards, but, ooh, this is uh, gonna be interesting. All right, let's see if we can do this correctly. When I was watching Luis do this, he was popping corners, so. All right, there's one corner loose. All right, kind of loosen it up a little bit. Let's work with this corner here. You get the lift, all right, that's a good start. There's the peeling, let's get to this corner. All right, let's go here, if we can get it to go. He said there were some that, well, we got most of the corners, so I think we're gonna just go here. Sorry guys, it's kinda tough trying to do this. All right, the first card, we got ourselves a Weedle. I think I already have that one. We're gonna go ahead and sleeve it up anyways. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> let's do some more. Let's go, we got a good corner right there. Another good one. Boom. Nice one. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Ooh, another Mr. Mime. I know some of you guys on my Instagram commented this that was one of the creepier Mr. Mimes. And I think I'm gonna agree with you. <laughs> All right. Last one of this sheet. Okay, good corner. Good corner. All right, looks good. Let's go with it, here we go. Can we get that Mewtwo or Pikachu? A Kakuna. All right. <clears throat> mm, not the greatest sheet there, but, and I think I got most of those cards. All right, last one, you guys. I wanna thank you guys for joining me for this unpeeling. <laughs> I used to say an unboxing, but unpeeling or peeling unpeeling pe i don't know all right <clears throat> here we go okay good pop right there 
get a good pop right here. All right, that felt good. Should be good to go. Hey, I think I already have that one. All right, <clears throat> two more, you guys. Can we get that last? No, you can't call it last pack magic. Last peel magic. I don't know, you guys. I'm I'm losing it. All right, that one didn't pop, but it did come up. Let's see how we're doing this side. Ooh, it's slowly peeling. Oh, I don't want to mess this one up. Oh, I don't want to mess this up. All right, that felt better. Here we go, here we go. All right, what do we get? Another dupe. Oh, man. I think... I don't know what we get. Are we gonna get an Eevee? I've already got several Eevees. What do we got? A Lickitung. All right. <clears throat> Did not get the one I wanted, but you know, I can't complain. These were uh, still pretty awesome cards. I mean, look at the art. I mean, even though, you know, it's not a, uh, I mean, seriously, the art is just fantastic. Kids drawing these things. I don't know. I appreciate it. I appreciate the the work that was put into this. And I appreciate Luis for getting me into these cards. And um, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Thanks for joining. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys think of these cards. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. We're approaching that 100 mark. 100 mark gets us another, or another, a giveaway. And uh, leave a like on the video. Talk to you guys later.